Hi there, this is Utkarsh Jain and we would be looking at the stat function of Texas Instruments BA2 Plus Professional Calculator. Now this function can help you solve uh, the variables like mean, sample standard deviation, population standard deviation, intercept, beta and correlation coefficient. In fact, we can also solve the covariance uh, using this particular function. And if you are dealing with the probability data, the function would also help you calculate mean and standard deviation. So let us do an example of each one of them to understand how to make use of this uh, financial calculator. So let us say we have a data like this. We have uh, written on market and we have written on a particular stock. Using this data, we want to calculate mean sample standard deviation, population, the intercept of the regression, beta and the correlation coefficient. So let's use the calculator here. First thing that you do is say second and seven so that you enter into the data function. Now to make sure that there is no previously saved number, say second and clear work so the data is deleted. Return on market, I'm going to enter as a X variable and return on a particular stock XYZ, I'm going to enter as Y variable. So X1 would be 10, enter. XY1 would be 15, enter. Going further, x2 would be 20, enter, y2 would be 17, enter. In the same fashion now, x3 would be 15, enter, y3 would be 3, negative, enter, x4 is 16, enter, and y4 is 5, enter. So in this fashion, we have entered the entire set of data into the data function. Now say second and eight and for the timing we would simply keep it as linear because uh, we are assuming a linear relationship. This would be particularly useful for beta and the intercept. Press downward arrow. The first thing that you see is n is equal to four. That means we've entered four separate variables. We have a x bar here. X bar in this case is giving, given to be 15.25. That means the mean of return on market is 15.25 why sx we have which is 4.11 sx is the sample standard deviation so sample standard deviation of the x variable 4.11 sigma x 3.56 so the population standard deviation of x variable is 3.56 y bar in the same fashion sample standard deviation of y population standard deviation of y a a is the intercept of the regression equation and B, which is the beta coefficient, which in this case is 0.13. And finally, what we get is R, and R is the correlation coefficient, which in this example is 0.06. Now, let us say the question requires you to calculate the covariance. Now, what we know is that covariance is calculated as correlation into standard deviation of X into standard deviation of Y. So in this case, we can simply use these three variables and calculate the covariance of this data set. So the correlation coefficient I'm going to store in the first memory slot. The SX I'm going to store in the second memory slot and SY I'm going to store in the third memory slot. And then we can simply calculate covariance by saying RCL1 into RCL2 into RCL3, which in this case would be 2.17 so now let us go further now what we have here is the probability data we have written on this should be probability so probability 50 30 10 and 10 and written on stock 20 15 5 and minus 7 and we have been asked to calculate the mean which would of course be the probability weighted average and the standard deviation of this data set so again we are going to make use of the data function so first thing that you do is say second and seven and then now say second and clear work. So x01. Now what you need to be really careful here is that the probability data we are going to enter as a y variable and the values that you have which in my example is return on stock are going to be entered as x variable. So here this would be 20 and enter and y1. Now these are the weights that you have to enter in y variable and you don't have to enter them as percentage. So simply say 50 enter pressing downward arrow x2 in this case is 15 enter 
y2 in this case would be 30 percent so i'm going to simply enter as 30 enter x3 5 enter y3 10 enter x4 7 negative enter and y4 in this case should be 10 enter once you've entered your data then you have to say second and eight so that you enter the stat function but in this case you do not have to make the assumption of linear data you have to instruct your calculator that you're dealing with only one variable so say second and set one more time second set second set second set till the time you do not reach on one dash v function and what it simply means is that you're telling your calculator that you're dealing with only one variable once you've entered here one dash v press downward arrow and this is the cross check that n has to be equal to 100 n equal to 100 means that the number of variables we have entered the probability data correctly and the total of the probability is totaling 200 x bar 14.30 this is a weighted average of this data sx this is sample standard deviation and this does not really mean anything what we have to look for is this sigma x in this case and we know that standard deviation of this probability data is 8.39 i hope you find this uh, video tutorial useful this was utkash jain thank you for your time